The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're talking about my favorite free VST plugins. I put together a four measure hip hop beat, use these plugins to process everything. The drums I sequenced out of whole loops. There's an acoustic guitar strum sample, a sub bass, and a pluck that I made out of Omnisphere. And we're gonna process this pluck together to make it go from sounding like something that wouldn't work as a lead guitar to something that now carries the song as the lead guitar. Let's check the example. So, this guitar plug came out of Omnisphere. I'm gonna mute these plugins and turn the volume up so you can hear what it sounded like before the plugins. So as you can hear, we did a lot to it. So let's jump in to the plugins. Start by getting rid of this. The first plugin I used was OTT by X for Records. If you've watched any of my videos, you remember me talking about this. this is a free VST plugin. I'll put a link to it in the description. And also at that link is an entire catalog of also very excellent free VST plugins. What I did on this guitar with this is really just turn the highs all the way up by grabbing it and pushing it to the right, same with the mids, and then did the opposite with the lows. And then I uh, took my depth knob from 100%, which I felt like was too much, because I'm gonna put more compression after this, and just put it at 50%. This is essentially your wet dry knob, and uh, plugins with a wet dry knob always are the most useful plugins to me. Do you produce music and love making fat Moombatan beats? Are you addicted to the dance hall rhythm? Do you find yourself using that same old reggaeton loop again and again? Then we've got the product for you. Get your coconuts ready for Hot Tropics, our brand new sample pack of Moombatan, Afro beat, and dance hall hits. Here at Whole Loops, we've handcrafted over 200 organic loops and recipe kits for your tropical bangers. Hot Tropics is available now at wholeloops.com. Moving on to the next plugin, I used the Camel Crusher, longtime favorite of mine, completely free VST. Google it and go get it. I'm adding some distortion with this one and some compression. But uh, this one's really doing most of the damage. This one, this distortion I find to be more punch and less grit. <clears throat> this one's more grit. Again, with the mix knob, I ended up really only using it at about 25% instead of 100%. I love blending clean signal with process signal. I always find that gives me the best finished product. Moving on, we're going to give this some uh, stereo spread with a little slap echo using the Dimension Expander, another free plugin that you can find at the OTT link. And uh, just give it a little. I like the way guitars sound with slap echo, just to fill in the gaps between the notes a little bit. Um, really clean interface. If you've used Massive before, you already know how to use this. And to finish it off, I polished it with a little TAL Reverb 4. This reverb reminds me a lot of the reverb settings inside of Nexus. It has this interesting lo-fi sort of uh, analog feel to it. That's why I love it, and man, the user interface couldn't be simpler. Just adding these little tails in. Much quieter, but... I did some low cutting and some high cutting to just kind of let the mids through. Gives the sidechain compressors that are on this group a little bit of uh, sound to pump up and down in between the notes. But as you can hear, this made a huge difference, um, aside from the volume difference. But uh, yeah, so creative usage of these plugins can really take a mundane little sound like that that you may have scrolled right past and turn it into this big monster pluck that would work great in a hip hop beat. Well, that's just about all I have for you guys. I'll see you tomorrow with Tutorial Tuesday.